Vince Reinhardt, you've just heard a lead minister of an emerging market currency. These are butterflies flapping. How flapping are the butterflies at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue for emerging markets? Uh, so listen, any discussion of trade is got to be concerning. Emerging markets mostly have export-led growth strategies. Uh, if you look over the last decade, which was the country with the most rapid growth? Same country has had the most rapid growth in exports. Uh, so trade concerns uh, <clears throat> hit both sides. Uh, also uncertainties and uh, a, a dead weight loss on all, all business uh, decision making. And so there's an impediment to investment across advanced and emerging economies until we, we you know, settle these issues. I, I look, uh, Vince Reinhardt, at how this affects central banks. You've studied this on your watch at the Fed where people like uh, Orphanides of Cyprus and others, it really looked at how EM locked in to major central banking. Will the major central banks blink when they see the EM realities of currency depreciation? Uh, it's always different in the trenches, right? Yeah. Uh, and well so said. that you are, you've, you've got to be concerned about uh, financial <clears throat> volatility. I would say that uh, for the Federal Reserve, they haven't quite uh, gotten wrapped their head around the idea that the rest of the world is bigger than it used to be. Uh, that's not reflected in all their models. So I do worry the extent to which it would take some time uh, for uh, volatility in emerging markets. Strains uh, in all our trading partners got reflected in the core decision making. For now, the Federal Reserve seems pretty much on track to tighten at every opportunity they have i.e. at press conference meetings. Also, I'm a little worried about the ECB. Uh, uh, President Drahi may, may have talked about flexibility of, about starting the renormalization of monetary policy, but he's got a brick wall, and that is his retirement. He's going to want to start raising rates before he leaves to set that precedent, uh, which means that there's only a limit to how much he can talk tightening out of markets.